name's Mark Daniels. I run the Paracanoe program at an Ascot Kayak Club. I was a Marine Technician serving in the Royal Australian Navy. Um, I returned back from a four and a half month deployment. I then had a motorbike accident two days later, which resulted in the loss of my right leg above the knee. The accident was particularly rough for me. Um, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder after my accident. And it wasn't so much losing my leg that was hard, it was how society changed the, the way that they looked at me. I was no longer a strong, able-bodied 22-year-old. I was someone with a disability. And where I thought I could do anything and I was able to achieve these amazing things, I was constantly told what I could and couldn't do based on society's beliefs. And the first time I actually went down and did some adaptive sport, I found that sense of belonging and found that mateship and that camaraderie that I guess I was missing in so many avenues of my life now. So my avenue to paracanoe wasn't a straightforward line. I used to do kayaking in high school, so I'm like, hey, it can't be too hard, but I was so wrong. The way that my balance works now, missing a leg, I fell in like time and time again. And I think that something that made me fall in love with the sport was how hard it was. And it didn't matter how much muscle and power I put into it. If you can't stay in the boat, you're pretty useless at it. So I kept working at it and kept just really like refining my ability to stay in that boat until I was able to race and do it every day, which I can now. Paracanoe is a sport that we all love, but there's no grassroots. There's no way into the sport. And that's the same Australia-wide. I was approached by Ascot and a few of the older members though that wanted to create something. We provide the boat, the equipment, the safety equipment, and make sure that you have that coach with you. We create those opportunities and remove those barriers so that there are no barriers put in front of you. My proudest moment as a coach is seeing that transition from people come down, they have no idea, there's the skirt of the water, and you see that shift in their mentality that they can do these things and they start believing themselves. So what I've tried to base this around is that we have the opportunity to get up and paddle every day. And I could be having the worst day with my PTSD, like be really depressed and struggling and suicidal thoughts. And I get out and I paddle. And instantly your head's clear. And that's what we want to give back to the community. That's what we want to create. Give people the opportunity to experience the sport that we love every day. Get people on the water, because we know what it's like to not have that freedom. And we want to make sure everyone has that ability to experience it.